Hello everyone, it's Elliot here and it's good to be back after my recent computer failure. I can finally get back to making these videos for you. And as always, this channel is about collecting boutique Blu-rays. So I thought this video, I would dedicate it to Arrow Video. At the time of filming this video, it's towards the end of October. I'm all geared up for Halloween. So I've been watching tons of cult horror movies and weird B-movie oddities. So it's perfect timing to celebrate Arrow Video. And on top of that, they currently have a Shocktober sale running on their website. So you may be able to pick up many of these for great prices on their website. If you do happen to be watching this video in the future, hello to the future. These recommendations still stand because I think they're great, enjoyable movies. So don't worry if you've missed the sale. You can still take these as recommendations from me. And if you're still looking for more recommendations by the end of this video, I have plenty of videos on this channel about Arrow Video and Arrow Video recommendations. So I will link them below down in the description. So if you want more, you can get more. So I've got 10 movies to show you here from Arrow Video. The first one is... Maniac Cop. This is classic B-movie fare produced by Larry Cohen, who I'm also going to mention later on in this video because I have another Larry Cohen gem on the way. This is basically a slasher mixed with a police thriller movie starring the brilliant Tom Atkins and Bruce Campbell. And this is just great B-movie fun. It's about this cop who is on this murdering spree, killing seemingly innocent people and no one really knows what's going on. And it's all about trying to find out who is this cop that's murdering people. And it's it's great fun. Tom Atkins, as always, is incredible. I also recently watched Night of the Creeps, which is obviously a classic with him in it as well. So that's why I want to recommend Maniac Cop. And also, in a weird way, it's seemingly more relevant now than it ever was because it's looking at the police department as an institution it's looking at police brutality it's a great disc from arrow as well there's a bunch of special features there's one with tom atkins as well which is a great watch so maniac cop is my first recommendation in this arrow shocktober video next up we have the visitor now i want to recommend this film to you but it's actually quite difficult because this film is indescribable. It's completely crazy. It's crazy in every sense of the word. A lot of the times it doesn't make any sense. It's just a load of ideas packed into one movie. And it's got such a bizarre but brilliant cast. It stars John Huston, the famous American film director. It's got Shelley Winters, another great accomplished actress. It's got Glenn Ford... Sam Peckinpah is in it in a cameo as a doctor. It comes from that school of filmmaking in Italy where they would take a very popular American movie and then try to basically just rip it off. So there were many Exorcist rip-offs and, and this does take uh, you know bits from The Exorcist. It's also very much close encounters of a third kind. It's such a one-of-a-kind movie. I've never seen a, a film like this before and I've done the reversible sleeve so this is the original artwork for the movie which by the way this doesn't have any doesn't bear any relevance to the movie at all which is such a great thing about classic italian genre films they'd have these crazy film posters to pull people in and then people would be like where was this in the movie so anyway that's the visitor a great disc from arrow video totally recommended we're going to go for a classic British genre movie now, Theatre of Blood, starring Vincent Price and Diana Rigg. This is one of the Vincent Price movies that he made here in the UK, and it's about this Shakespearean actor who has been condemned by the critics, and he's killed himself, or that's what people believe, but then he comes back from the dead and starts killing off all of his critics one by one. And it's just a, just a brilliant Vincent Price performance where he's totally like giving that signature Vincent Price thing that he does. I love this movie so much and it's a great disc from Arrow Video. For many people, this may be seen as a cathartic experience because as someone who's creative or an artist, you may have your critics or your detractors and at times you may feel like you want to just strangle them or, you know, 
silence them or whatever because they're just annoying you so much they're destroying the great work that you're doing so i can see why this could be a very cathartic experience like i said for anyone who is creative so all in all a great disc from arrow video as well tremendous features brilliant performances it's just a lot of fun here's one that recently became a new cult favorite of mine the stuff and this is from larry cohen who i mentioned earlier with Maniac Cop. The stuff is about this white stuff that is found coming up from the ground and these people decide to can it and market it as this food product which when people eat it tastes really good and it gets them hooked like a drug but then they start acting crazy and they start killing people. So it, this is a brilliant B-movie horror premise but also perhaps a scathing commentary on capitalism or obesity or whatever you want to look into it this is one of those b movies that you can actually read quite a lot into but also it is completely crazy a lot of very laughable moments but also some brilliant filmmaking so that's why i want to recommend the stuff and as always with arrow video they do put a ton of features on here so there's a documentary about larry cohen and the stuff so th this is a great one to have and just a gem, a B-movie gem. This next one is actually my most recent Arrow video pickup. And I did mention it on my birthday live stream that I held on the channel this week. If you watched that, thank you very much. The movie I'm talking about is White Fire. And this is one of those Arrow video releases that comes with the very nice slipcover. And I've reversed the artwork inside. Another piece of artwork from the 80s which doesn't really describe what the film is about but it just kind of pulls people in because people see a massive chainsaw which is in the film for about five seconds so not totally kind of descriptive of what the film is about this is a, another crazy film and it's one of those that perhaps is just a bad film it's just terribly made but there's something about it something very peculiar in its essence that just pulled me in and i laughed a lot uh, i didn't cry but i laughed a lot and it's just bizarre totally bizarre the story if i can kind of describe it basically there's this brother and sister who when they were kids their parents were murdered this is now set 20 years later where they work for this a diamond mining company that drills for diamonds and the company finds this very rare diamond the white fire diamond which is like searingly hot that if you touch the diamond your skin will just burn and it's very rare and lots of people are after this diamond so there's this really convoluted plot about different parties interested in the diamond and there's this really strange subplot between the brother and the sister which is very bizarre so i won't go into spoilers at all but this is one of those things that you just need to see to believe and if it wasn't for arrow video i would have never discovered white fire and it's a brilliant release as well there's a, a really good really good audio commentary from cat ellinger who i love any commentary that i hear from cat ellinger and she always adds depth to the movie that i've just seen so i often find myself watching the movie and then watching it again straight after with the commentary so this is a brilliant disc uh but maybe not a brilliant movie white fire if you're enjoying this video about my arrow video recommendations things that i've been watching recently please do subscribe to the channel because you would hear about these videos as soon as they get uploaded and you could join in this awesome community that we have here anyway back to the arrow video recommendations Next up is my favourite film out of all of the films that I'm recommending here. This is Phantom of the Paradise, directed by Brian De Palma. This is a film that I recently rediscovered, and I think it has shot to being my favourite Brian De Palma film. It's described as a rock and roll opera in the same vein as the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and it takes story ideas from the classic story of Faust from Goethe, it's got Phantom of the Opera and it's also got the picture of Dorian Gray and it mentions all of these on the back of the case. But it's actually much more than just being some weird soup of all of those ideas. 
I don't know what it is, but it's taking certain genre sensibilities that obviously Brian De Palma is massively influenced by and just melding it into this this film that is, at first glance, very campy and maybe doesn't have much substance or much depth. But actually, when you get into it and you watch it and re-watch it, there is so much in here about one's personal journey with creating art and perhaps feeling um, betrayed by someone who you've you've given your art to and you've trusted them, but then they just take it from you or they destroy it or whatever. There's all sorts of ideas about artistry and, and one's own work. And I just find this a completely compelling movie. Paul Williams, who acts in the movie but also does the music, is completely amazing. William Finley, as well, is brilliant in the role. Jessica Harper of Suspiria fame is also brilliant in this movie. And I'm just dying to re-watch this, even though I only watched it a few days ago. So, uh, recently rediscovering this, it's just captured me totally. So, Phantom of the Paradise, if you've not seen this, and perhaps you have seen some other Brian De Palma movies, get this. It's amazing. It wouldn't be a good month of horror without mentioning Wes Craven. So I've got The People Under the Stairs. This is classic Wes Craven and maybe one of his best films on recent rewatch. I, I loved this completely. It's a film that tackles a lot of his usual themes of the family unit, the American dream, uh, capitalism and its pitfalls. And it's just a thoroughly enjoyable horror movie with some great set design great characters and I, I love this movie completely a brilliant addition from arrow video like i mentioned tons of special features so if you've not seen this i would recommend getting this in this sale next up i've got a giallo movie i've got the iguana with the tongue of fire i'm constantly looking to discover new films in the giallo subgenre of thriller and horror movies because i just find myself totally enraptured by that particular kind of filmmaking and storytelling so arrow video released this one and i'd never heard of it but seeing that it was a giallo i just wanted to give it a go so this is very strangely it's set in dublin island which you don't really hear of many giallo movies set outside of italy let alone in ireland so this was such a peculiar watch Maybe not the best story. It's not of the high caliber of some of the Mario Bava, Lucio Fulci, Dario Argento movies, but a very interesting one nonetheless with a great soundtrack. It's a great Arrow disc and there's a bunch of good special features as well. There's an audio commentary as well by some Jalo experts. So if you're looking to explore more of the Jalo subgenre, look no further than this one. Another Jalo movie, and this one has another really long name. For some reason, they always have these really long names that are really hard to remember. I've got The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. This one, I'd heard from some of my friends that they weren't that keen on this movie, but I actually really enjoyed this one. The music is incredible from Ennio Morricone, who of course can do no wrong. But the actual story of this really grabbed me and there are some absolutely amazingly beautiful shots in this movie. Some very great expressionist lighting in this. So if again, if you want to get into more shallow movies, look no further than the Arrow edition of this. Again, packed full of features. Again, there's also a commentary from Kat Ellinger, who I mentioned earlier. Her commentaries are always amazing. So yeah, if you want more Jalo goodness, get this one. And lastly, I'm returning to Vincent Price in England. I've got the abominable Dr. Fibes. This is starring Vincent Price and Joseph Cotton, of all people, the brilliant American actor Joseph Cotton. This one is actually very similar to Theatre of Blood in the sense that Vincent Price is a serial killer who is murdering a string of people. But in this one, he's murdering them each in the manner of the 10 plagues of Egypt. So rats and locusts and bats and things like that. It's a very campy film, but also a brilliant performance from Vincent Price. 
I love the set design and the effects of the kills. This is one of the earlier discs from Arrow Video that I picked up and I've reversed the artwork on here as well. And there's brilliant features. There's an audio commentary on here. There's a conversation with the League of Gentlemen, who if you're from the UK, you probably know the League of Gentlemen from television. And Mark Gatiss is a part of the League of Gentlemen, and he's a massive horror fan, almost like a great horror historian. So it's good to hear them talk about this movie as well. So that's the abominable Dr. Fibes. So that just about does it for this video. Thank you for joining me for another discussion about some of my favourite Arrow video movies. I do hope you can take some of these as recommendations for new movies to pick up. Before I go, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. I'll include your names on the screen right now. And if you've not checked out my Patreon page, you can. It's patreon.com forward slash boutique Blu-rays. I upload exclusive vlog style videos about my collection up there. And we do also have a private Facebook group where we talk about lots of movies and stuff like that. So do check it out if you're interested. If you want to stick around on the channel, just click one of the videos recommended to you on screen right now for more Arrow video recommendations, and I'm sure they will be amazing. Anyway, until next time, stay well and keep watching great films.